we speak or write for a purpose, that purpose should be clear, achievable, and realistic. For example, it might be to inform, to persuade, to entertain, or to inspire. We reason to resolve an issue or question. As part of the reasoning process, we need to identify the issue to be addressed or the question to be answered. We must reason from a particular point of view. If the point of view is too narrow, it may be too limited or unfair. Considering other points of view may sharpen or broaden our thinking. We must base our reasoning on experience, on data, or evidence. These forms of support help to separate opinions from reason. Reasons need to be accurate, fair, and clear. All reasoning is based on some ideas, principles, and rules. When we read and listen, we can ask, what key ideas are presented? When we write and speak, we can organize our thoughts around particular concepts and ideas. We take some things for granted when we reason. We need to be aware of our own assumptions and uh, those of others. Faulty assumptions can result in weak reasoning. Reasoning proceeds by small steps of the mind called inferences. When a person concludes that something is so because of something else being or seeming so, an inference has been made. We need to distinguish between our experiences and our interpretation of them, or our inferences. Our inferences are heavily influenced by our points of view and our assumptions. When we argue to support a certain point of view, we must consider the possible results of following that path. The ability to reason well is measured in part by the ability to understand and identify the implications and consequences of the reasoning. Now that you have been introduced to these eight elements of reasoning, consider how you might apply them to your own thinking and writing. Created using Powtoon.